Hi, this is Ali from Sonar. In this video, we will look at upgrading your Sonar Cube instance from one version to another. We will look at what to do before you upgrade, how to perform your upgrade, and what to do after the upgrade. Before you upgrade, it is important that you decide your target version, map out your migration path, read through our release upgrade notes, and practice your upgrade on commercial staging license. The first step is to decide which version to upgrade to. Roughly every 18 months, Sonar releases a LTS long-term support version that consists of all the features and bug fixes introduced in Sonar Cube since the last LTS. There is a grace period of six months after the LTS has been released, after which all versions below the LTS will no longer be supported, and we recommend upgrading to the LTS version to stay up to date with our product features and bug fixes. In addition to the LTS, Sonar Cube releases for latest versions also happens every two to three months. These latest versions correspond to the incremental functional changes within the major release cycle that will eventually culminate in the next LTS. So the choice is yours. You can either upgrade to the LTS version or the latest version. Note that it is not possible to perform version downgrades, and our recommendation is always to make sure you are at least on the latest LTS version. It is also possible to upgrade your Sonar Cube Edition alongside the version. Just make sure you select the correct package you want. After deciding on the version and edition, the next thing to do is to map out your upgrade migration path. This depends on the target version and how many LTS releases there has been between that and your current version. The rule here is in your migration path, you should upgrade to each intermediate LTS version between your current and target version in order for the correct database schemas to be applied in the correct order. Here are a few examples. If you're upgrading from 8.9 to 9.9 LTS, there were no other LTS releases in between, so you can upgrade from 8.9 to 9.9 directly. However, if you're upgrading from 7.9 LTS to 9.9 LTS, there is one LTS, 8.9, in between, so you need to first perform an intermediate upgrade to 8.9 LTS first before upgrading to the 9.9 LTS. The same principle applies for upgrading from non-LTS versions. Upgrading from 9.6 to 9.9 LTS can be done directly, as there are no LTS releases in between. However, Upgrading from 7.6 to 10.2 will require intermediate upgrades to the LTS in between before upgrading to 10.2. Now that you have your migration path in place, it is time to read through the release upgrade notes that can be found on our documentation page. This contains specific recommendation we provide when upgrading between different versions. We also recommend that you review your scanner and build wrapper versions and upgrade those at the same time. For enterprise and data center edition users, your SonarCube subscription comes with additional staging licenses, and we recommend that you practice your upgrade on those instances first. Please also note that for the data center edition, you will need to switch off all application and search nodes before performing the upgrade. If you have third-party plugins installed, you may need to manually install newer versions of your plugins that are compatible with your chosen target SonarCube version. You can use the plugin version matrix available in our documentation page to check if your version of the plugin is still compatible with your new SonarCube version. For the actual upgrade of your SonarCube version, our documentation has an upgrade guide that provides comprehensive information when performing your upgrade. Depending on your SonarCube deployment, you can either upgrade from a zip file, Docker image, or a Helm chart. For example, if your SonarCube is deployed via a Docker container, you will first need to stop and remove your container. Then all you need to do is to run your Docker commands again for your SonarCube container, but remember to point it to the correct image of your target SonarCube version. 
In this case, I am updating the image in my Docker Compose YAML and deploying my new Sonar Cube using Docker Compose. If your Sonar Cube instance was deployed via Helm chart, or if you are using the official Sonar Cube Helm chart, all you need to do is to change the Sonar Cube version in your values.yaml file. In this case, I am upgrading from 9.9 .9 to 10.2.1. Then all you have to do is redeploy your Sonar Cube using the Helm chart with your values.yaml file. To perform the upgrade manually from a zip file, first download the zip file for your target Sonar Cube version. Then unzip it to a fresh directory. If the Sonar Cube installation directory is in your path, make sure that that is also updated accordingly. Next, update your sonar.properties file in the new installation directory so that all relevant parameters, and most importantly, your database connection parameters, are all propagated into the new sonar.properties file. Please note that you can't just copy and paste the sonar.properties file into the new installation directory, as that file might have changed with the newer version. After this, you are now all set to start up your Sonar Cube again. This might take a few minutes. Whether you are upgrading via a Helm chart, Docker image, or manually via a zip file, once your new Sonar Cube is up and running, Navigate to your Sonar Cube URL backslash setup and follow the instructions there for your database to finish migrating. It is also ideal to trigger the analysis of all your projects again so you can get more updated data, especially with any new rules that have been added. Finally, once you have upgraded your Sonar Cube, you should also rebuild your database indices to refresh the database statistics and follow the instructions in our documentation here for your chosen database.